Work integrated learning is a form of experiential learning, but what makes it very unique is that type of experiential learning where the workplace or practice setting is the site of learning. The learning outcomes directly relate to employability and skills development that relate to a student connecting what they're studying to the world of work and their career progression, their academic goals, and the development of their personal capabilities. We held the first uh, workshop uh, hosted by our colleagues present here uh, from the University of Waterloo and the University of, uh, of Ottawa. Uh, essentially, that set off uh, a number of um, uh, unexpected outcomes and a number of uh, interesting points that we can work on in terms of developing work integrated learning and cooperative education throughout the, uh, throughout the AIMS network. As you may know, AIMS vision is to lead the social and economic transformation of Africa. An industry initiative which started you know, several years back is an important strategic pillar of our ecosystem. And we strongly believe that successful execution of such work integrated learning programs will allow, allow us to facilitate and strengthen our efforts and facilitating transition of African youth, especially into the employability areas or employment opportunities. In Canada, work integrated learning needs to be a part of the curriculum. It needs to be a part of the academic endeavor. Also has to happen in either a workplace or a practice setting. The relationship between industry and the, and the education or the schools, there's this complaint that uh, the industry doesn't want to work with the students. You, you know, they say these are students. If uh, they damage my machinery, the equipment, uh, I cannot just replace it. So there is that resistance. So how have you come around that? Work integrated learning leads to specific outcomes related to employability, personal and career development. Because one of the challenges I believe what we have seen today is that that program was designed in Canada and Rwanda and Africa in general is a very different environment. So the first thing we need to do is to look back at what they did in Canada and try to identify what specific change do we need for it to be applicable here. We are interested in the transition to employment. A lot of young African are very confused. If you look at the trajectory of school to employment, they do two masters, a PhD, and they don't even know what to do next. Uh, success for me is to stimulate that transition to employment. Government should also be interested in uh, collaborating this program. The program should contribute in developing our, our own skill or the capacity of, of, of doing things. One of the motives maybe to make this happen uh, is that it would even increase the productivity. For instance, um, people working in the private sector or working from uh, uh, post second stations, or when they're doing well, so the end point would be the economy doing well. Uh, we had um, some school of thoughts uh, referred to universities to fall in that bracket. And their motivation is like everybody else has said, they want to, you know, retain and hire um, um, talent so that they have like a full cycle of people coming in, um, getting relevant experience and attracting more talent. Some of the points we came up with, we saw employability as one of the main factors. And we also looked, thought about problem solving opportunities as well, because, you know, we're going to have... Um, the students come in and I think we had talked about how basically we'll be sending solutions out to them while they're actually taking their, uh, finishing their education. And then they're the ones who will come in and provide solutions to the problems that the employer has encountered. The skills revolution in South Africa as a concept came from organized labor, then to the government, then the private sector. The Skills Development Act in a nutshell is the one that led to the development of sector education and training authorities. I think work integrated learning is very important for the future of the world. In particular, for the future of Africa, I see a few very strong connections, one of which is the fact that you have such a young population. And work integrated learning is a beautiful way to enhance traditional educational models and get students ready for the world of work in a, in a multitude and a variety of ways. 
So in this workshop, we've realized that we need to integrate work-integrated learning into our AIMS activities, into our model, so that when we graduate our students, they go out as complete. They can fit into every sector of development in Africa. How we can build work-integrated learning in Africa. I am so passionate about it, and I've seen its impact in our country, and I believe there is potential challenges, absolutely but real potential too and um, that's what brings me here and keeps me engaged. We have uh, recruited graduates from uh, EMS and they are collaborating, they are working in all areas of uh, statistics we are working in. Brown Revenue Authority is really benefiting from this uh, collaboration with AIMS. We get a chance to get some projects worked on Literally, those are problems that are being solved by the students who come in for like the six months window. Coming to this workshop, I realized that the wheel is a more, more general thing that incorporate the co-op. From this workshop, what I really enjoyed is that it gives us a sense of the network. So there are now co-op programs in, in uh, Rwanda, in Cameroon, and in Senegal. And it gave me a better sense of the ecosystem that they have to operate in, the different uh, environments, uh, the different type of student and the structure. What I would recommend is maintain a steady but constant growth so that more students can benefit and never forget that you need a strong quality base to make sure that the experience that student gonna get is positive and they learn from their personal development and also the employer side that they are getting students that are ready to enter the labor market.